All right, then. Um, Moto GP, we got to wait. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's the. Uh, we'll see how that one pans out uh, later on. Uh, we need to get on with the show now and let's start uh, talking. Um, what are we talking next? Golf, golf of course. <laughs> Top golf on Monday, Monday right? yes. Uh, Georgia, right? Mm -hmm. Another teenager doing amazing things in the world. Absolutely. In the world of golf. This time around, our special guest is another golfer, a lot younger than Georgia. Absolutely. We're talking about Yena Essien. Absolutely. She'll be joining us this morning. I mean, when we spoke with the Georgia, it was remarkable because when you have some young athletes <sighs> like this just trying know. to do everything possible to be successful, mm. we've never had a girl for going to the Olympics and all that. No, come so on. Georgia, Ever. of course, you know, Ever. she's just blazing the train and other athletes, uh, golfers that are coming up are also you know, taking after her. Yeah, taking inspiration from inspiration her. Inspiration from That's her. That's what it is. <laughs> okay. So Yena Essien joins us this morning. Yeah. Good morning. How are you doing? Good morning, Mr. Tayo. Good morning. <laughs> All right, good morning. How are you doing this morning? <laughs> Hi, thank you. Okay, I, I understand how difficult it can be this period and all that. Lockdown is also in Abuja, just like you have here in Lagos. So what have you been doing to really keep busy? Uh, I practice outside my artificial grass. Sometimes I practice my short game uh i chip into my plastic stool and uh, also do some warm-ups walk around the house sometimes jog uh, aside from golf i also do some programming i program uh, stories on my laptop on scratch i also draw uh, design anything to keep me busy okay uh, that's remarkable that's yeah, really it's, good it's good to know that <laughs> absolutely yeah Absolutely. Right. Obviously, when this year started, you had some dreams. I mean, you wanted to go for some tournaments and everything and all. But then COVID-19 happens and, of course, it's disrupted everything. What are you going to do after now when the whole pandemic is all over? Because everyone is praying that very soon it should go away. Um, I'm going to go to school, of course. And um, <laughs> probably after school, I'm going to go do some practice. And ahead, I'm going to go compete in tournaments that I missed because they were postponed and cancelled due to the pandemic. Mm -hmm. Also, we can't wait for it to, it to be all over so we can uh, return to doing uh, what you love to do uh, best. Uh, Yana, let's, let's talk about your golfing career. Uh, if you can put it that way, you're 13, you're still so young. Uh, when and how did you start playing golf? I started playing golf at the age of five while I was taking a stroll with my dad at IBB International Golf and Country Club. I saw a boy playing golf, so I gestured to collect his clubs, but my dad refused. He then later asked me if I wanted to play the game, and I agreed. So he got me some clubs and a golf professional to train me. Wow, fantastic. <laughs> uh, good one. Uh, it's um, uh, Yanis, that a uh, good one for uh, making uh, that happen uh, for your. Uh, uh, Doctor Ian, yeah, let's uh, talk about um, the 2019 uh, um, Ladies Golf Championship. You were the only teenager uh, in that competition. Tell me how it felt uh, competing against all those women. It was very inspiring to play against all of them because they're like older than me. So it made me want to do my best and come out very strong. Uh, uh, that's not bad at all. Let, let's talk about your future plans uh, now. Uh, uh, okay, we need to go uh, on a break now. Uh, Yena, just uh, hang on for a minute. When we come back, we'll continue our discussion. <laughs> Welcome back to Channel Sport this morning. We still have our guest uh, from Abuja. We're talking about a uh, 13-year-old Golfer Yene Essien. Yene, um, let's talk about. Of course, you're still uh, a student uh, and you're playing golf. You've you've had to represent Nigeria uh, in several competitions, uh, and you know both in Africa and in mm -hmm. Europe. How have you been able to balance uh, doing all of that and still going to school and making sure your grades are fine? Uh, it's actually very hard balancing the two because uh, on Mondays, Fridays, 
sorry, Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, I finish by four. Fridays, I finish by one. So on Fridays, I play golf. Uh, also on Saturdays and Sundays, I also have time to play golf. Mm. Well, you've been able to uh, do just well. You've been able to balance uh, both uh, very well. Very, very, very good uh, indeed. Um, what is your, tell us your biggest uh, target, your biggest goal right now, your biggest immediate goal. What do you want to achieve, let's say, in the next uh, couple of years? I would like to attend one of the best schools in the U.S. I also like to study artificial intelligence and robotics while at my university. also like to um, play at my university's girls' golf team. After I've competed in university, I'll compete in the Qualify Series to become a professional golfer. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's wow. great. That's really big. Now, let me ask you, because your success is really remarkable. At the age of five, you won your first title, and so far you've won about 17 titles for Nigeria. You've presented the country, of course, 11 times in Africa, in Europe, and also in the U.S. And now your dream is to actually attend one of the best universities in the U.S. And we know that over there, you know, the kind of system they have, you can easily combine, play your, uh, uh, play your sports, and also going to school. Now, with all this, do you, have, do you actually aspire to be at the Olympics maybe uh, someday? Or you want to take uh, golf professionally? I'd like to go to the Olympics and take golf professionally. Um, I was also supposed to play in the Olympics in 2022, but because of the pandemic, it has been postponed. So until further notice, I would know when I'm going to play in the Olympics to represent Nigeria. Okay, that's great. You must have a role model because you want to go to school, you know, be a graduate, also play golf professionally and all that. Now, who is your role model? Who do you look up to? Who inspired you, you know, with all this? Apart from your father and also the white boy you saw that was playing golf, you know, before you picked up the sports. Uh, Tiger Woods inspired me because he never gives up. Even though he has a back injury, he, keep, he keeps on going, keeps on trying, and he won the Masters with an injury. So wow. it shows that he, he never gives up and he's always determined to uh, you know, I can tell you Tiger Woods uh, inspires a lot of us, even though we don't play golf. So I can understand uh, your choice there. Before we let you go now, uh, talk to us about uh, the kind of support uh, you've gotten uh, from uh, your parents. And uh, of course, is your dad uh, by any chance your caddy as well? Yes, um, my family and my friends, they're also very supportive. My dad always supports me. He always tries his best to make me feel positive and happy when I want to start playing a tournament. My mother is always there to give me hugs and to laugh with me. Uh, my friends, they're also always excited to see me play and see me winning all the time. So it's very inspiring. All right, then. Um, Vienna, Thank you very much uh, for joining us uh, on the show. Uh, continue to stay safe, and hopefully when this pandemic is over, you can return to playing golf and uh, you know, start the process all over again of achieving uh, your future goals. Thank you very much, and enjoy the rest of your day. Okay, bye. Bye. Right, thank you.